Hey guys, what is going on? We are going to be doing a 0.5 video today. So we are going to be looking at how we should be upgrading at Town Hall 8 to Town Hall 9. Now I get a lot of questions about this every time. I come on the chat and there's a lot of new members in my clan so we're going to be taking a look at this. I have pulled up all of the weights for the defenses here. So we'll take a look at that. So at all the level 1, and I'll include a link in this in the, uh, in the description so you guys can take a look at this yourselves. But the most notable war weights that happen would be the Mortars and the Wizard Towers. They both start off at level 1 at 450 weight. And then at the second level they go up to 885 and 870 respectively. And this should be noted that these come directly from the game files. So they could be proportional in some way, but I would really assume that these would be very close to actual numbers but again these should be taken with a grain of salt but as far as the update pass that I've taken I'd have to say that these work out pretty well um, the level 1 weights of the cannons and the archer towers go from 100 to 199 and the level 1 from air defense goes from 50 to level 2 to 99 so you're only picking up 49, 49, this is like numerical weight, and then Teslas go from level 1 to level 2 is 100 to 199, so those are exactly the same as the point defenses. So if we move on, the sweeper goes from 20 weight up to 39, and the bomb tower goes from 400 to 820, so these would be in the same realm of... Um, wizard towers and mortars then if we look at expos they start at 900 so that is a considerable jump over any of the other defenses and then we have the inferno tower starting at 2950 and the eagle at 5200 the traps are also very low the first bomb is 25 weight the giant bombs are 150 weight these are all for level one Spring Traps 25, the Red Air Bomb is 100, and the Dark Blixer Bomb is 150. So those aren't too bad, but as far as engineering goes, you'd also want to look at keeping your offensive weight down. So if we look at the Barbarians, they start at 100, 150 for the Archers, um, those aren't too bad. There's no considerable jumps anywhere, so those are all good to upgrade. Um, barbarians, archers, giants, goblins, wall breakers, balloons, those all don't add too much weight. Um, the wizards, healers, even dragons, those don't all add a lot of weight. Uh, as I said, I will put a link to this in the description of the video. So. Make sure you check out these tables for yourself. These are extracted right from the game files. So if we take a look, not too much. The only thing that has a considerable jump in war weight would be the witch. At level 1, she adds 1,000 weight. And at level 2, she adds 2,000 weight. So that adds 2,000 weight to your profile just by upgrading her and... Uh, I don't know if that's worth it because she is pretty useless, guys. I would not recommend using her in any of your attacks. Um, I've seen some some okay attacks at Town Hall 9, maybe, but overall I think she's really not that special. So if we take a look here, I have to find my base. If we take a look at Makoto Suo's base, this would be an example about how you'd want to upgrade your base. So if you look, we have been constantly doing the heroes and we've been doing the walls. But if you notice, we do not have the third 
or fourth mortar, and we do not have the third or fourth wizard tower. We do have the bomb tower, and I believe that adds a crap load of weight. So, I have a level 2 bomb tower on my base, and if we go to check out the tables here, level 2 would add 820 weight. Now, if we look, if I didn't add that, and I got a level 1 expo, that would be 900 weight. But since I kept the two mortars and the two wizard towers off my base, considering they go up to level, I believe, 6, if we look up level 6 on the table, that is 2,000 weight for the wizard tower, just for one. Now I have two missing, so that's 4,000 weight gone. And if we look at the mortars, and we say they, they also go up to level 6, I only have level 5 here. The level 6 also add 2,000. So by keeping these off of my profile, I've accumulated about 8,000 weight off my base. And if we take a look here, we do not have witches added. We do not have baby drags added. We do not have pekkas added. So if we take a look back at the tables here, the pekkas for level, I believe, 3 would be 450. The baby drags, and I'm just going to say, I don't even know if Tunnel 9 gets those or not, but those would add 350 at level 2. The witch adds 1,000, and the lava hound adds 400 for level 2, which I believe is what you could get. So that would be about another 2,000 weight. So overall, with our smart upgrading, we have saved about... Uh, over 10,000 I'd have to say and the base still looks pretty solid guys so I think if you're gonna take a base and upgrade it you should be efficient and smart in with your upgrading because even if you're not the best attacker if you keep your war weight down you'll draw an easier matchup and you will be able to win um, this can be reflected through our warlog we're on, we're on 11 wins right now, so we have a lot of people doing this. Um, we have various examples in the clan if you want to check them out. Uh, Andy is a .5, working on his walls and heroes. He's kept his wizard towers very low, and I believe even at level 1, I think it's like 450 still, but he's he hasn't upgraded it yet. Yeah, level 1 is 450. But if I'm reading these tables correctly, the cannons and the archer towers are up are weighted the same as the Teslas. So I think those would be good to target if you're gonna be upgrading in your base. Um, but that's that's about it to get this started, guys. Uh, if you really liked and uh, enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, please leave a comment. If do you like smart upgrading or do you like just full blown out wars let me know in the comment section down below uh, leave me a sub if you want to see more informational videos and you guys have a great day i'll out stay clashy